Hi there, and welcome to another Sketchpad tutorial video. I'm Dave Stewart, the creator of Sketchpad, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Sketchpad and Sketchpad Live Reload. We're going to start with a fresh installation. On the left, you can see the site files, and on the right, the site itself. Let's begin by installing Sketchpad using Composer. Once that's done, You'll need to add the Sketchpad service provider in Laravel's app config. I'm going to paste that in. I'll save and close. Then I'm going to run the Sketchpad setup from the browser. You can see at the top of the page various installation options, but for this video, I'm going to skip over them and just continue with the default development configuration. You'll see just before installation a brief summary of the options you've chosen. When you click Next, Sketchpad copies your starter files to the folders you just configured. Assuming everything works, all you need to do is click Next again, and your new local install loads in the browser and you're ready to go. On the left hand side you can see your initial installation folder, some sample tools, and Sketchpad's live docs. These are all just folders with controllers in them, but for this demo, I'm going to turn the last two off. I'll leave the installation's primary controllers folder, and we'll spend the rest of this video working with the example controller. This file is installed along with assets and views, all of which are yours to configure and edit as you see fit. So let's take a closer look. You can see the index method loaded here is pretty basic. It returns a view, much as you'd expect, and that loads into Sketchpad. The welcome method has parameters, and when loaded in Sketchpad by clicking its label, it's given a user interface. Editing any parameter or clicking run will rerun the method again and you'll see the updates. Now this one-way update is useful, but what we really want are two-way updates. That is, when you change the code, the browser updates, and this is where Sketchpad Reload comes in. Install Sketchpad Reload from NPM using the terminal. For a standard installation, create a file called sketchpad.js and enter the code you see here. If path requirements are non-standard, check the wiki for custom installation instructions. Otherwise, save your new file, then start the watch process by running it through Node. You'll see a brief summary of path loaded from Sketchpad, then all you need to do is tell Sketchpad that we're reloading, and finally reload the browser. Once Sketchpad Reload is running, we can just edit the code and immediately see updates in the browser. Reloading functionality is pretty advanced. Not only does it rerun code, but it updates everything about your controllers. We can add new parameters, which are again two-way. We can update the intro text to methods. We can add tags to express additional functionality or presentation in the front end. We can add new methods or rename existing ones. Sketchpad even detects new controllers and adds all their methods automatically. In the next video, I'll dig into Sketchpad's front and back end features to develop from scratch an example tool, the kind you might find useful in your own projects. So thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you next time.